What's up, Internet? I'm going to teach you today a DIY way that you can make awesome light leak effects in your videos for free. I'm going to show you how to make the effects and then apply them to your footage in a short and to the point video. What you will need food coloring, uh, any kind of weird glass that you can find. This is a red light bulb that I'm going to use today. Um, any maybe weird stuff like that will reflect light in a weird way. I'm going to use this uh, DVDR, a little dirty DVDR. Uh, a glass of water that's uh, for the food coloring. Basically, we're just creating like transparent colors that are going to do weird stuff with light. Uh, you will need a camera body with interchangeable lens. You will need to take the lens off of the camera and light sources. I'm going to use fire as one and this flashlight as another light source. All right, so let's make the light leaks. So for the for these steps, you can basically do whatever you want. I'm gonna put whoa. I'm gonna put some uh, blue um, food coloring in the water and just kind of. Then you take your light bulb and you use it to kind of stir up the food coloring in there and then just make sure to tap all the water off your light bulb and put it back on your desk and then you got like some blue water all right so once you got your stuff um, to do this and you can really choose whatever you want it doesn't matter you go to the darkest uh, area that you can in your house like an area that doesn't have any windows or anything and you can get like the best quality darkness that you can. Um, I'm using just a little LED light in here just so that you can see what I'm doing until I turn it off and uh, I will. Um, so your next step is you're going to take the body cap off of your camera revealing its inner workings and sensor. We are making a video recording now. Then you're going to want to, uh, I'll turn on this light now, and we're going to turn off the main light here. Okay, you want to turn your light off, and I've just got this flashlight going now. And I am going to actually take the ISO down, which I forgot to do, right to 200 on this G7. All right, so it's all dark. The camera is recording darkness with no lens. I'm going to take my blue cup, sweet, and I am going to kind of shine the light sort of at the side, towards the sides or different directions around that camera's sensor. And I'm going to show you a video of what this camera is getting right now. What the sensor is seeing anyway. And it is quite bright at the moment, so I'm going to, GNU is one of my favorite words, crank that shutter speed right up. And just make weird, weird light effects on the sensor. Just, you know, moving the flashlight wherever you want. This is all about choice and freedom. All right, so let's get another thing. 
Whoa, our CD, good idea. All right. So I put the CD around there and just, you know, and you know, if you really want, you can actually, uh, it, like if you know what your footage looks like and you know what you're trying to achieve, you can kind of tailor what kind of stuff you're going to use, what angle you're going to come on the sensor, where you're trying to get that flare at the end of the day. All right, so I'm just going to speed this along and use my last thing, which was the lighter. So I'll turn off the flashlight. And lighters work really well, like for getting like a nice warm flare. And another thing that you can do is block, you know, I'll turn this light back on, is block, uh, like an area of your sensor just so that light will only leak in like to a certain area. I don't know if you can, or I'll turn this light back on and show you what I'm doing there. So see how I'm like basically only going to allow light into a very tiny sliver to one side of the, of the sensor. That's a really good way to kind of isolate where your leak is going to come from. You can angle it out, get a kind of a line going all right that's enough so your next step is going to be to uh, open up a new project in Premiere Pro uh, a lot of kids now are using uh, Final Cut and uh, I blame the parents anyways once you uh, get into your your project just uh, import the footage that you had from the camera with no lens and just put it in you know into your project and go ahead and take a look at it in your source monitor. So what we're going to basically have is just a lot of weird, you know, stuff that's just going on. So go in and just find like a little section of it that you like. I kind of like that sort of. That was I think just the flashlight. Let's just use an endpoint there. Cup. See, Sweet. there's some kind of like flashy motion going and on in there. Some crazy stuff. I am going to. All right. So just grab that footage. We'll just go file new sequence. Yeah, whatever. We'll change out when it prompts. Change sequence settings. Okay. So you've got your light leak into your sequence. And the way that you're going to apply this to your footage is basically just use it as an overlay track. So I got some other footage in here that I'm going to lay it onto. And this is some uh, vlog footage from the GH4 that uh, me and my beautiful wife here were uh, shooting at an apple orchard the other day. And eat it. Okay, so Alright, so let's grab that. And let's grab it. I had another clip here of me eating an apple. Or doing something. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, anyways, so we'll drag that footage in there, and now we're just going to put the light leak onto the footage. But you'll notice that when we play it, all you're seeing is the light leak. So we're going to use an effect. First, we'll probably use two. Uh, the first one is going to be the Luma key. And drag it. Oops. 
drag it onto your light leak video. Ah, and you'll see there's a bit of an issue there because uh, the light leak was shot in 4K and that video was 1080p. So to fix that, I am just going to do the unthinkable here and just scale it up. And that's something you don't ever really want to be doing. But just for sake of tutorial and speed, I just did. All right, so now you can kind of see there's some stuff going on. In, you can see through the light, basically. It keyed out the darkness in the Luma channel. So, next thing we'll want to do probably is go up into the effect controls, drop down opacity, and put that at probably 40%. And you can already tell this is starting to look rad. And I'm just going to drop that quality down a little bit so that we can see our playback a little smoother. Ew, no, maybe not that low. And we have a cool light effect. Sweet. Anyways, that's basically how to do it. I'm going to keep, uh, I'm going to put on another one just for fun here. We'll go back into what other light stuff we made. And this obviously doesn't look like fantastic or anything. Uh, just because I didn't really know what footage I was going to put it on. I didn't really know if I wanted blue or orange or purple or whatnot. You can even uh, apply like... You can even uh, apply color correction to your light leak if you want to do that. Uh, I have done that in the past. I generally don't. There was one that I was looking for. There we go. There's something in this area. All right. That's kind of cool. So we got some flashing. Whoa, our CD. Good idea. That was the CD. All right. Yeah, so I put the CD. All right. So we'll drag that one over my clip here. And let's actually make it last a little bit longer. I'm not too concerned about ch choppiness or smoothness in the light leak itself. All right, and our effects, Luma key. And for the Luma key, if yours doesn't work uh, right off the bat, it's probably because your um, threshold and cutoff needs adjusting. So you can definitely go in and do that. Maybe this one's not that cool. But you know, you can grade this footage and then put that stuff on and it just adds a lot of a little production value. So anyways, yeah, I didn't see a tutorial that was uh, really geared towards doing this on YouTube yet. Uh, there probably is one, I just didn't find it, and I, I did look. But anyway, yeah, so go crazy, go nuts, get a bunch of glass stuff, smash it, make fire, do whatever, shine light into your sensor, and make your videos look great. Thanks for watching.